Hi, so I quickly wanted to talk about set by reference option and what happens when we enable or disable it. I set up a little example here where we have a score which is set to zero. We have this function that just increments it by one and then we just print the score. If you open this up, what's happening is we have our score variable and we just uh, add one to it basically. So if you start from zero, this should be one after we print. So let's click play and we can see it's zero. So why would it be zero here? We are passing our score and we are incrementing it. Well, what's happening is that this function, this variable is actually not your score, it is a duplicate variable. So if you think about how this works, you have your score variable. So we can say this is your score variable. We are basically duplicating your score variable and then we are incrementing that duplicated variable. If we want to kind of now edit this without using uh, set by reference, what we would have to do is have a return here and then we're going to get this incremented value and then we would try to print that and now we can see we're getting one. Now what we are doing is basically you have your original value, you have the duplicate value that you are modifying, so we can say we are modifying it and then you are basically printing that value uh, if you're getting basically this value and printing it without uh, using our original value. So let's go back and now let's try to use set by reference. So I'm gonna delete this and now if you click on your function input you can see this drop down arrow and you can see here pass by reference and you can basically see by this uh, little diamond shape here that now it is passing by reference and that means that this variable is passed directly uh, instead of creating a duplicate and now whatever you're changing you're changing on that variable. Of course if the thing that you're calling is accepting the change basically or if the the action or the node that you're calling is uh, made so that it uh, modifies the variable directly. So now if we click compile save let's go back see if everything's fine here and now let's click play we can see now it's saying one so now what we're doing is we're taking our original score we are saying take our original score and modify it and now we don't have to return we don't have to do any special stuff we just print our original score and it will be modified really useful stuff now if you let's go to increment score and let's add another variable and let's make this an array now an interesting thing about array is that it passes by reference directly so if I type let's say add and you want to add the value to this array and then let's say we are printing this array it's going to automatically be added to our array so arrays are by default passed by reference so you have to be careful when you deal with them because you're, you're not uh, modifying the duplicate you're modifying the original value. Now let's go to this plus plus and see what is actually happening so if I double click here, we can open up the macros and if you're not familiar with macros, I created a video about them, but basically they have some internal nodes that modify the value that we put in and what's happening is they're just basically adding one and then we have this manipulate int internal which basically just sets it by reference here uh, and does a few uh, other things, but in general what's happening is we have this set by reference. Now let's go back to our example, let's go back to event graph. And you can also use this set by reference value and what you can basically use it for is you have the diamond shape, you have the circle shape and you can basically uh, get direct reference and then modify it in some way. That's kind of what's happening uh, behind the hood here. So if I delete this, let's do set by ref variable, we could do something different. We don't have to use their thing. Uh, maybe we want to do score plus three or something and modify the value directly now of course uh, since you're putting this in the function if it's something simple you can just put it directly in here you don't have to abstract it but now if we try to print we can see we get three so you can uh, change it directly but you can also use their uh, their pre-made functions so yeah that's basically passed by reference if you ever get confused why sometimes the value that you're passing is not being changed or something like that now you know and keep in mind arrays are passed by reference by default so they're getting changed directly if you ever uh, reference them in a function.